Hello guys, I'm on it. Oh, we can start it soon. Let's see. Wait, wait, I think we're just waiting for, for the other one to be accepted so we can start the stream. There we go. <laughs> Watch it. Thank you. There we There we go. Perfect, perfect. And I your mic is working okay, is that right, Rena? Uh oh. Oh no. Rena! Oh no. It was just working a moment ago. Hang on. Oh no. Rena! Oh no. I got it. Never mind. Okay, now can you hear me? Okay, there, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, now you're alive. Oh my god. Hi there, everyone. Hi. Hey, yeah. So uh, thank think we're all ready here, is that right? Oh, Rena, you ready? Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Okay, yeah, Joel, are you ready? I'm gonna give me a second to process. Okay, I'm good. Okay, yeah, <laughs> so, so, yeah, hi everyone, welcome to our Q&A with uh, Victory Vena, one of the artists here in the community who's all the way from Ukraine, so nice, nice to feature more international fans, just a little PSA, um, my I try to avoid bringing up the situation as much as we can, but you know, we do, we do wish her and her loved ones well. You know, we're in the end, we're all, we're all Sonic fans here. So, yeah, uh, Rena, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, um, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kevin and the gang for the invitation. Um, really appreciate it. And I think, as I said already before, we, we've got a small conversation before uh, you guys could, could all hear it. Uh, thank you so much for contributing so much to the Sonic community. I think you guys doing like such a great thing uh, for the history of Sonic community and Sonic fandom. Um, you can call me just Rina. Um, I'm from Ukraine. He's there everyone um i'm 27 years old i'm drawing like since childhood but in the recent years art has become my main um my main type of thing of like making money and uh, yeah this is like my career and hobby at the same time but this is yeah i think that th this is like the brief description of me so, so how did you get started? What got you into Sonic and what got you into drawing and how did you discover the online fandom? Um, I've got a couple of stories regarding it. Um, I think it was in 2006 when I first watched the Sonic X uh, on uh, Jetix. Um, I was always a fan of cartoons and um, yeah, this was like one of the one of the tunes that I enjoyed the most and um, yeah I just felt so much into this cartoon and all this lore and the characters and uh, I remember the moment the, the, I remember the day when I was in elementary school uh, my classmate brought a CD disc with the Sonic Adventures DX game of there it was like a pirated version for the personal computer I didn't have a game console back then and uh, I remember I enjoyed playing it so much it's still my one of my most favorite games there it was a bit funny because the translation there was also kind of pirated and seems like the person who was translating the game wasn't a native speaker at all it was a sub game but and it was this translation was so funny but um, yeah this is this was also the moment when my uh, session of, of Sonic Universe have uh, been supported by the, this game as well, but mostly it was like since 2006, the Sonic X. And I think this is also can be connected to, it, it can be relevant for all other um, Sonic fans in Ukraine, I would say, because I think this is one of the main um, source where guys and girls and guys could um, get into the Sonic um, universe, Sonic lore, thanks to Sonic X broadcast. This was like the main income of uh, the main source of Sonic fans. And uh, yeah, this is basically was how I started. And then um, I remember when I've got my first internet connection, it was like in 2007 or 8, I saw a fan character online. I didn't know that this was a fan character. I thought that this is actually a new character coming into the new season of Sonic Kicks. And I was so excited off and I was like, wow, this is a new character coming. And what a surprise was it when suddenly I didn't, I didn't see that the, the new season of Sonic Kicks started. 
it aired and then I didn't see any uh, like the, the, this fan character didn't appear there and I was like what why why is it happening and then later I was told that hey this is actually a fan character it's not like an official it won't appear on Sonic Kicks and I was like yeah what like how, how is it possible who, who could draw it uh, is it like a Japanese artist uh, who are doing a fan character what does it mean and then I was told that this is a, a fan character it can be drawn digitally like almost everyone can do it you just need your laptop the software and here you go and yeah this is the moment that wow I want to make I love Sonic X so much I want to create my own fan, fan character there and this is actually how my art path started because I was so uh, motivated and inspired by that fan character. I don't remember, unfortunately, I don't remember whose character was it. I slightly remember what character was it. Uh, this is like, this is something of, this is something what I wish to remember because this is such a, um, such a huge milestone in my art. This is actually why, how my art path started, but I don't remember it, unfortunately. All right, uh, Joe, would you like to ask that question? Uh, just give me one second. All right, so when, uh, what inspired you to start making art? Um, so, yeah, as I said, the, this fan character was so, um, was such an example for me. And then I discovered many other artists. I realized that people that are not that older than me can draw. And I was like, wow, it, does it mean that I can do it as well? I want to. I want to try it as well. And this is so was so funny. In the beginning, I was drawing just with my mouse uh, and uh, and uh, in the MS Paint. And I thought this is how all people draw. This is the only software they can draw in. I was like, hmm, this doesn't look that good as the characters I see online. And then I learned that, huh, there is another software. There is Adobe Photoshop like coral or pencil say where people can draw stuff not in ms paint this was so funny and then i discovered other artists such as uh, chiba jenhan oh my god she's such a legend i heard some of your previous q a someone mentioned her and i think she is just the, one of the legends of sonic community like her art her fan characters i think she is the main motivation for so many people to create their own fan characters and yeah, just deep dive into the Sonic community. I'm curious, how did you come up with the design of your OC? I, I, I like that about your OC too. I like the design a lot. Thank you so much. Um, I think I've got, I think I can even show you something. I've got a very old art of mine of Arena drawn like, I don't have it here. Let me check. No, I, I think I don't have it here. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, Rina was, uh, uh, he, she had the modification a little bit, but I think her design remained for, uh, many years. I think in 2013, I kind of, uh, stopped with redesigning her and, uh, yeah, this is, was basically the final, I don't know. It was like, I wish I could have that, um, way of, mind when I had when I was a child because the sometimes I'm I think about the things that I drew and thought about um I'm kind of I want to get it back I want to get that um imagination back because some things were so original and now I see like a brand new person did it I was like D did I drew this like what was I thinking about this is such a cool idea so yeah let me just i think you can see it now yeah so this is like the first first art can you see the yeah, yeah. yes i think you can yeah. so this is like basically this one let me do it oh my god i don't know why the laptop is so laggy i just got the uh windows update uh by this launch and 
everything is so laggy here. I don't understand uh, why. That was, so that basically, was a <laughs> yeah. So basically, here is the first art of Rina. She first was a fox, uh, but then I decided that I want like there was so many fox characters, and I was like, no, nah, I want to be original. I will do it. Not a cat. I will do a tiger, and she will be Rina the tiger. And I was like, wow, this sounds so cool. She was gonna be a tiger, and uh, yeah, she's got that. Um, Blue eyeshadows, there is also a reason for that. Not only because rouge uh, is the preference, but um, I remember there was that um, doll maker by Janet Hedgehog. And I think everyone back then were doing their original characters then there. And yeah, so this is basically the design made there. And then I did a small modification. And I think like in already 2009, I already had the... Re this is like a gender bender version of Rina. But I think already in 2009, the design were, was like the, the final one. Well, that's, that's certainly quite the improvement there uh, in your artwork. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, now I look at these. Uh, I still have these artworks. Uh, everything is saved. I still have uh, the archives of the arts back then. But I feel so bad that I drew that little. Like in comparison of how many arts I do per year now is so much more than I did before. And I think this is also the key of the improvement. Uh, if you want to improve in anything, you have to spend a certain amount of hours. And I feel bad that I didn't work that, that many. I should, I should drew much more and much often. And, uh, yeah, because like in 2013, um, I've got a huge, Huge art block for five or six years. I almost didn't draw anything because of university, and I was so overwhelmed and busy with my real life. And uh, yeah, so I just had to quit drawing. I just I, I didn't understand when was the moment when I realized that wow, I haven't drawn like for five years. This is so funny, but art block can be really cruel. Uh, so here's a question from Dodger. Uh, apart from Sonic, what is your favorite Sonic team team game? So like Game Fight Nights for for example. Uh Nights into Dreams for sure. This is like I, I didn't play that many games from Sonic Team, but yeah. I think that Nights is such an amazing and under um under undervalued under how's it called like underestimated uh, is underrated. that the word right? Yes, yes, underrated. That's thank you so much. I'm sorry if my English is might be confusing and I will like repeat myself a couple of times. Uh, English is not my native speech language just to clarify this for our listeners so yeah nice into dreams is such an underrated game i love this game so much there's so many stuff there you can i can play this game like forever there is so many stuff that i discover after re re playing it again and again and yeah, I feel so bad that this is not remastered and just forgotten by Sega. This is so unfair because, uh, I don't know, did you guys play Night of Dreams? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's one of my favorite games and I agree with you on yeah. that. Hopefully one day. <laughs> yeah, hope I, I saw the, some fans were doing the um, 3D uh, animations or stuff. It looks... It looked like the 3D game of Nights into Dreams, but I think it wasn't like the real game, but was just a example of the design. It was so awesome. So I think fans are going to make the game much faster than the real company. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you there. Uh, and I can also say that there... Uh, can, I, can I just finish with the Nights oh, into yeah, Dreams? Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. I, I can see that there are so many fans of Nice Into Dreams that are basically ignored by Sega uh, because I can see it from my merch shop, from my Etsy shop. I've got some stuff related to Nice Into Dreams and I can tell that uh, like a half of the sold items are related to Nice Into Dreams and especially uh, taking into consideration that I'm not the most popular artist. I don't have many sales. I can just have one sale per week. I'm not the biggest Etsy shop. I'm not the biggest artist. And still, I have so many people interested in Nights into Dreams. And I think this is such a huge indicator that people are thirsty for 
nights into dreams content. Hey, Sega, where where are you? We need another night. Yeah, day. yeah. What, what what are you doing? Like Balan, the Balan Wonderland, or how it's called in English, like Balan, Balan, how to pronounce it right? Ba- Balan, Balan? Wonder, Wonder, Wonderland or Wonder, Wonderland? Yeah. That day. Yeah, I think people were expecting that. I think it didn't like pay the expectation that people were actually expecting for. If that makes yeah, sense. We, because we, it was, yeah. But yeah, it I seems, agree. We it all seems to be cool. So there is, I think there is a small delay between <laughs> between our phrases. And then I thought when you finished and then I started and then you thought that I finished. So go on. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Put sorry, audio delay. Okay. So. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Rita, please, please continue. I'm sorry. Uh, so I, I was talking about this. Sorry, I just got the message from my fiance. He was writing something for me. Wait a second. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm back here again. So uh, yeah, I think that um, Balan Wonderland could be such a great game. And I was so excited to play it. But the demo already was like, this is something where it's happening. This is not what. I think I expected, at least in my opinion. I don't know what I think. The concept it is cool. I I like this idea and this mechanics and stuff. But something feels wrong. I don't know how to describe it. Did you play it? Do you like it? I I have, and oh, it's such a big disappointment. Yes, right. But yeah, uh, Josh, would you like to ask the next question? Um, well, do we have any audience members who want to come up? Yeah, yeah. Were there any people in the audience uh, that wanted that a question? Wanted to raise their hand? Doesn't look like at the moment. So mm-hmm. while we're waiting on that. Uh, go ahead, Joel. Oh, hang on. Uh, I'm just scrolling around. <clears throat> okay, so what is your favorite Sonic game? Um, hmm, that's a nice question because I can say I can choose the only one. But definitely Sonic Adventures DX is like one of the, this is the first game I played of Sonic Universe. And uh, I like the Child Garden so much. I think people should, the Sega should make a separate game dedicated to Sonic, uh, to Child Garden because it's so awesome. I can just spend hours there. Um, so, uh, and this is also the game that I've got in CD. I also got the two other games there. I think they're also part, this is not the official license of the games, but um, this is at least something I could play in on my PC. This was Sonic Heroes and uh, Sonic Riders. Oh my God, I like, I love the Vavilon Rogues lore so much. And this is, uh, I don't know why Sega is ignoring so many cool ideas they've got. Like so, uh, Vavilon Rogues are such an amazing characters with such a cute and uh, interesting story. The background, their ancestors. Like, I want to learn more about them. I want to know them more. Why, like, why they are not giving this for us? And uh, yeah, this the soundtracks. Oh my god, this is they're just so amazing. There, I only played just. I think this is the regular Sonic Riders, so not like not the Zero Gravity, uh, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it so much. And Sonic Heroes is also one of the games that I played hours and hours. Um, I remember there was uh, the stage in Swamp, I think, whereas the huge crocodile was chasing us. Oh my god, this is the trauma from childhood. I can play this game just because of that level, because of that swamp and this huge crocodile, or what was that? Um, yeah, I'm just, I was so scared to death to do that. I just such a, I, I remember now when I was playing it, I had such a high heart rate. <laughs> it was, this is so scary. But yeah, this is basically my main uh, favorite uh, games of Sonic, like Sonic Adventures DX, Sonic uh, Heroes, and Sonic Riders. I haven't played the other ones, but I watched the cutscenes, so I know the lore of them. Um, so yeah. So if there was one uh, Sonic thing that you wish you could get in your country, what would it be? Like, say, like the merchandise or the comics or the game, something like that. If uh, Can you please repeat your question? If this is the one thing of what character to make for what? Oh, if, if there was one Sonic related thing you wish you could get in your country, what would it be? Like, say, like the game or the comics or the merchandise? 
All of them. I wish we could have so much many more licensed and official stuff in Ukraine. I think um, we have uh, the... Our geek community is big enough, and I can tell uh, that by going on Comic Con in Kiev in 2021 in our capital city, I remember I saw so many people. Oh, I just I just realized I saw on that Comic Con in 2021 a guy who was cosplaying Eggman, and I was like, "What? I I want to find this guy." And I was wearing um, jeans jacket with uh, some of my pins i didn't have many back then i only had nice related pins and i've got some pins from uh, uh somba holic i think this is how the nickname pronounced right i've got her tails and uh, sonic uh pins on my jeans jacket and i was like oh my god i have to show this guy i have to speak with this guy look i'm a sonic fan as well please don't go and then i lost that guy and i could never find it but um yeah i think that would be I, I think we already have um comics translated into ukrainian and we have some how it's called the publishers that are doing it uh they translate uh, international comics into Ukrainian and uh, Sonic comics are broadened enough, I would say, but um, I think the games are not translated and not adapted. And um, yes, yeah, it mostly might be done by fans, mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, and I wish um, more content could, could come to Ukraine. And I hope one day, once the war is over and we live in peace, we can have not only the general comic cons, conventions and festivals, but also a special convention dedicated to Sonic, as you guys have, because I think this is so much fun you have there. There is like literally the center of the uh, Sonic community is in the United States and I see that there are so many interesting conventions and stuff going there. So I wish once we can um, make something similar in Ukraine and yeah, and I do wish to come once to United States and to see all of that cool stuff you're doing. Uh, well, if you ever get the opportunity to come to America and come to one of our conventions, we welcome you with open arm. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you're also very welcome to Ukraine. I know it might be, <laughs> it might sound crazy now to come here, but yeah, you're well, very welcome here as well. I, I hope I get the opportunity to visit there one day. But yeah, yeah I would love to meet you here. And uh, yeah, be sure I will make a tour for the cities we have. Like it's, it's my city, it's on the sea, so we can go on the beach. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff to see here. Hey, uh, Jolt, would you like to ask the next question? Uh, sure. Give me one sec. Do you have any new projects that you are working on this year? Like anything specific or special, like outside of uh, work or art or anything like that? Mm, I am actually. I haven't told that to anyone, by the way. Um, I'm now uh, visiting the voice lessons. So um, I'm really enjoy singing and I do want to improve myself in. And yeah, I think this is like one of my, I would say kind of projects that I would, I wish to come true. And if it, this is not related to art, so like this, this one is. And uh, yeah, I think this is basically it because most of my time is dedicated to the stuff what I'm doing now, like the art and my Etsy shop as well. I already started the preparation for the convention in Kiev. Um, I have to, I have so many ideas to create and this is such a huge uh, kick <laughs> to me to start uh, doing new products, new designs. Uh, like I'm already uh, thinking about um making some new products to my shop as well, like the reusable sticker book. I don't know if this is interesting or not. Just stop me if I talk too much. Uh, but yeah, so this is basically it. improving my um, Etsy shop and working on my uh, voice so that I can later uh, record something, like some covers and stuff. Hey, well, I with you all the best of luck with, you, with your singing. I have to come refer you to someone who works on tone cover for Sonic, Sonic Revolution uh, after the panel. Sorry, what did you say? 
oh, I I say since, since you're since you're working on singing, I can refer you to someone that can that can that that does a lot of song covers. Oh, that would be really interesting. Thank you. I would love to check it out. So I I recently saw that you're going to be part of an artist alley at a convention a little later this year. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so uh, this is the convention happening in uh, Kiev, as I already, uh, a part of it I mentioned before. Um, it's going to happen in the beginning of June, I think 7th and 9th June. Um, and yeah, this is the first convention and first, no, not convention, I've already been to one <laughs> only one um but uh this is the first artist alley i'm going to attend so i'm really excited and uh, i'm really um excited and um, how can i describe the feeling like uh, i'm a bit nervous as well and anxious but this is like the good anxious or how it's called like this is nurse but like i'm too excited for this event because I don't know how to react. Uh, I don't know what people are going to come to me because I've uh, researched a lot about the artist LA people are talking about. Most of them are from United States and they're saying that there must be some people that are not that friendly and some people can steal something from you or they can say, wow, this is too expensive. I'm not going to do it or just make a photo of your product and make their own like, oh, I, I don't want to buy one. I will just print it out by myself i will just make a photo of it i heard that case is happening um so yeah i just hope it just when it will go smooth and um i'm also not sure if uh people know me enough in ukraine because most of my audience is uh, from united states uh because i um broadcast my thoughts in english only and uh, i think people just don't know me in ukraine and uh, also the reason is um, i i can't evaluate how many sonic fans we have in ukraine because before the full-scale war um, most of people were talking in uh, russian and i now we can it's easily to tell if a uh, person is from Ukraine just by, by the language. If someone's speaking Ukrainian, okay, you're a Ukrainian Sonic fan. But um, still, it's hard to, like, uh, there is no such place where all this Sonic, Ukrainian Sonic fans are gathered. So I just can't evaluate how many people yeah, actually are fan of Sonic. But I will know that later and could tell uh, my experience uh, once the um, convention is over, I can tell how many people, how there, how many fan characters. Uh, I'm sorry, fan characters. What Sonic fans are uh, there in Ukraine? Hey, well, congratulations! We wish you all the best with your first artist alley. We'd love to hear about it after after it's done. Thank you, thank you so much. By the way, I think we have some mm, fan. Uh, Sonic fan Discord server uh, created by Ukrainians. Um, I think it's called Sonic Eves or something like that. Uh, people are actually dedicated to uh, Sonic content translation into Ukrainian and making the comics and not only but the use of Sonic World in Ukrainian. They have their own website and so I think we just in the beginning of something big and I hope they um, thanks to Sonic Movie as well and Sonic Comics, more and more people are getting used to uh, got to know Sonic Universe in Ukraine as well. Hey, that, because that's... Sonic Movies was uh, Sonic. I'm sorry, Sonic Movie was officially uh, shown in Ukraine, and the comics are also, I think, officially translated. So yeah, there is an access to Sonic community. Hey, it may lead to a local Sonic convention one day because they all started with meetups, say, like with Sonic Revolution and now Sonic Expo here in America. Yeah, this is my dream, actually. Like, I wish I could come there one day because you guys have so much fun there. I see all that photos and stuff and videos, and I think uh, you just know how to make fun and how to make the conventions be good and stuff. So, yeah, just really looking forward to come to America one day. I do have plans for that, but 
um, I hope once when we have peace, um, I could think about it more real in a more realistic way because now I don't see that possibility to go. But yeah, you never know how the life will turn out tomorrow. Let's say so. Yeah, I wish I, I could come there as soon as possible. Not like in 10 years, but I, I, I literally, like, honestly, I plan to, to come to you guys, like, in the uh, following years, for sure, like, a couple of years, two, three years at least, um, I do plan to come to America and to all the conventions you have there. All righty. Uh, Jolt, would you like to ask the next question? Hey, I'm asking so many questions here, man. <laughs> oh, I'm God. sorry, I talk too much. No, oh, no, good. it's not you. Good, it's good, not good. It's not, it's not you. It's not you. <laughs> all right. All right. Look, it's like, look, never blame the guest. Blame the person who's hosting. <laughs> I'm pointing at a certain person who starts with a K. Okay. All right. Anyway. Hey, thanks a lot, Joel. No, <laughs> all right. Uh, how do you handle art blocks? Brilliant voice crack there. Brilliant. Uh, Man, I wish I know <laughs> to handle the art box because I had like this one for five years. Um, I don't know, just um, to be honest, I think I'm trying to think when I started to slowly getting out from that art block, I think it was like 2019 already. Um, I thought that if I am not drawing, but the time goes, my art skill is going to develop by itself. Like I don't have to do anything. Like in a couple of years, my art will improve just, just because the time has passed and I've grown up. And that's why that means that I will draw better. But surprisingly, it doesn't happen like that. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I remember the time when um, I was so mad at myself that I missed that five years of not drawing because I couldn't feel my hand the right way as I used to, if that makes sense. Like I felt that I, I'm so not used to draw at all. And I was so mad at my hand because why, why my hand is not drawing the way I used to, uh, why the art is so crappy. And then I decided to make a hardcore challenge. Um, I call it a 100 sketch challenge. This is basic. I created this from my own like imagination. I thought, okay, I will just do a hundred sketches. And the main rules for that was, uh, were actually, there was a couple of them. One of them was that I have to draw um, up to 20 minutes per each um art the there should be a full body character it should be slightly rendered but sketchy at the same time um and like 20 minutes up to 20 minutes to each art and i had to make it like in the fastest way possible like i i made it in three weeks i'm just going to find that um oh yeah here it is and I will show that sketch challenge. And I think this helped me to get out from art block for sure. It like kicked my butt to work. And uh, yeah, I just felt so much more confidence that I can do it. And you just have to start doing it. Not like, like thinking that, oh, I should start drawing again. Hmm, I should do this. No, I'm too tired. I'm just going to play games. No, you just have... You, you just have to do it, like, just do it, as Mike says. Um, just uh, s search for the references or, like, or, like, make a s certain challenge for yourself. Like, make this a um, something that you have to do and maybe that could help. I don't know. There is, I think there is no such thing like the universal pill that you can take and then your art block is gone. You know what I mean? But I think that um, hard work is for sure something that you need to do. So I think now I can show it. Yeah, this is the small one. How, why? Wait a second. I want to show the whole picture. My cat. <laughs> Where is it? Oh my God, I just saved it. Where is it? And here? No. Oh yeah, it should be here. Wait. Hmm. Here it is. Can you see it now? 
Hey, there we go. Hey, very nice. Yeah, so here is the 100. This is the huge, huge. Oh my God, everything is so leggy. This is a huge file. Um, so here is basically how I started. Uh, it was a really messy. This is actually Rina with, I was like playing with her outfit around. And uh, I was like, I'm going to make that 100 sketches as fast as possible i have to do it so i literally spent like 20 minutes per each i have a timer set on and i just drew it like for 20 minutes each art so this is like the first ones and you can actually find it on my deviant art i can send the link later so this is basically the last arts i think that um in comparison with the first one there is not that much difference uh, but for sure, something has changed in my, um, I would say, uh, drawing routine. I started to, uh, first of all, the speed. Oh my God, I started to, to draw so fast. I could literally uh, finish the full rendered art in uh, an hour or two, the most. And yeah, this is what I, I don't know why I can't. Just, I think this sounds, I wanted to show like the, the difference. Okay, now here we go. So yeah, this is uh, like one of the methods that, oh yeah, now I see the difference. <laughs> now I see the difference because I didn't do this to myself as well. But yeah, now I can see that something has changed for sure. First of all, I um, feel so much more confidence in posing because as you can see that they, that I've decided to, um, make the pose look kind of dynamic not just some of them are just standing but m some of them are like flying or running and stuff and they this helped my brain to realize the how the character should be shown or how the anatomy works i th all of these arts were not I, I didn't use any references for the pose i just did it from my brain and i think this is not something that i heavily advise to do but i i think it could be so much easier if you had if you want to make the same experience as i did um you can, uh, I think it's much easier and faster, again, faster, <laughs> if you um, just choose the references from Pinterest and stuff, if you already have the base of the pose, it can be so much easier and faster for you to draw, uh, because like in the middle, or even earlier, like, here, I think I already lost my imagination, okay, what should the pose look like? Should it be just standing, like you can see that there are so many characters are just standing and looking somewhere this is not like no dynamics no interesting stuff there and uh, i think it could be so much easier if i just oh like i like this one this one is just like i don't know he's rocking and i like this i like this pose but um yeah i think ref references could help much more and uh yeah um i can also say that my um, the drawing of the proportions has fixed a bit because I see that um, now it, my characters look more like in a Sonic type of like Mobian cartoonish way uh, because before, after this huge art block, my um, Sonic style was more into Anthro, I think. They were lo more like look looked more like humans i think and this is what's something that i didn't understand how to fix i wanted to fix it but i couldn't and i think that um this sketch challenge helped me a lot to understand this sonic anatomy as well i know dodger was saying in the end of the discussion like one of them like a, a cosmo and a sakura miku miku cos costume sakura miku you mean these ones uh what which one was it, Dodger? That one of them was, was called Mo. Those are Seagrans, but um, this is also from Karen. I think I don't I don't see Cosmo here though. I think those were the only. I think the Cosmo one he was talking about was the taller one that was green for the Cedrians or whatever they are called. I can never say their name, but um, I think that was what he was talking about when it came to Cosmo. If I am not mistaken, third so art again, in the we'll, third row. Okay, oh, the, these, okay. these girls. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, those are fan characters. Oh, okay. So yeah, you thought that this is the uh, uh, 
Sakura version of uh, Cosmo, no. <laughs> Those are actually the fan characters. What is one thing you've always wanted to draw, but you haven't gotten around to doing so yet? I think um, I don't draw guys enough. Uh, I do struggle drawing Sonic. Uh, this is so funny because as a Sonic fan and uh, yeah, Sonic artist, you have to draw Sonic well, I think. But oh, um, I just struggle. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're sorry, fine. Dad. I'm just joking. Um, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Um, yeah, I just don't understand how to draw the spikes. Um, they always look plain and I just don't feel it how to draw it well enough. So yeah, I wish to, because I mostly draw girls and I like girls characters like Rouge and Amy. So I like to draw mostly them and not, uh, guys, not because I don't love them, but because they don't look that good as I wish to but I have I have to train more maybe I could make another 100 skeleton just dedicated to drawing uh, Sonic male characters alrighty uh, Jolt would you like to ask next question hmm. besides Sonic what other fandoms do you like um, I'm a big fan of cartoons from Cartoon Network. I remember when I was a child, I had a couple challenge uh, channels that was Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Jetix. Um, I can't say that I have any fandom that I'm obsessed as much as with Sonic. Um, but I'm for sure a huge fan of the tunes that were broadcasting there on those challenge, like um, Shaman King, uh, Powerpuff Girls, um, which I love all that animation so much. And still, um, there's such a huge nostalgia for me to rewatch them again or see the arts online there. I see that there are so many people from, I think it, mostly Japanese artists who are so obsessed with Powerpuff Girls. And this was <laughs> such a discovery for me. I don't understand why and why this is such a huge obsession. By it. But, oh my God, they draw them so nice. Like, I, I, I'm i fascinated. Then again, a scientist did create the Powerpuff Girls in the show, so... Really? They were the authors? Oh, they were? Wow. What? No, I'm just saying that's the lore of the show. The, the uh, Japanese or what? So in the yeah. original cartoon, um, uh, like the character's name was called Professor Utonium, and he tried to make three oh, little. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh yeah, exactly. I I'm trying. I forgot that thing. You're right. There, there is a Japanese anime called Powerpuff Girls Z, but that that's a that's a separate show. Yeah, 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 but th this looks different uh, from the original one from the Cartoon Network. I think there were so many authentic cartoons back then, like in the late 2000s, I would say. I can't tell if there is something similar to the tunes uh, that were on Cartoon Network now, because all of them are so, um, are so full and... Uh, so much dedication is felt into these tunes. I don't know. Maybe that's because of the nostalgia and the um, the old times and the my youth, let's say. But um, yeah, now I also I would say that I'm also a fan of uh, the tune called Vakfu. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that tune. This is the French animated series and the game as well. Have don't you heard about I it? Don't think I've heard of that one. So this is, uh, yeah, the French company Ankama is doing games and as well as the animated series. And uh, this year is coming, uh, the final season of the Vakfu series is coming. So I'm a fan of that. Um, I like the tune a lot. I like the style. I know that artist uh, who is one of the main artists of that tune and the games, he's not, he's now retired from the, company but um i remember him since like 2000s um i even recently discovered that there was an old art uh, which i had on my notebook like when i was at school and that was actually the 
art of that uh, artist who is drawing the Wakfu cartoons. And this is what I told him as well. Like, did you know that in Ukraine, we've got the notebooks with your arts? I think this is something that people were not like this. This wasn't a common thing back then. Hey, uh, Ryan DeSendrick asked, uh, when did you have your first Sonic OC? I think we can say that. Let me just open this. Old, oh, boy. oh my God, everything is so laggy. Sorry, I don't understand what's happening with my computer. Usually it was working so much faster and I was like, everything is so laggy. I can't even draw because like my stroke just doesn't listen to me. So I think I can say like, just, sorry? My man, I was eating food. Uh is it due to the screen share? So yeah. here is the, um, I think was it was 2008 when I created like Rina the Fox, but then it um, turned into Tiger. And uh, I can say that the, it was first in 2008 when I first saw the fan character. I immediately, immediately started to um, learn how to draw and uh, yeah i created my own character thanks to the um genate doll maker it helped me a lot as well because all this costume and all these details are actually done by the uh, by that doll maker um i think uh, like the outfit is not that original but that helped me a lot back then and i think this wings that rena had originally uh, when she just created when she just w was just created, is actually the stickers from a shower gel, gel that I've got in the bathroom. So I just said, wow, this is such a nice sticker. Uh, Rina just has uh, wings out of that. So yeah. Um, so she, she's pretty old. She's an old lady. Uh, 2018 like yesterday, since time has gone fast. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, Prankster has a has a question. Would you like to call call her up, uh, Joel? Oh, uh, sure. Hang on. I'm having a lot of problems with Discord right now. I'm so sorry if I'm delayed. Okay. Hey, Prankster. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Um. Okay, Victory. How did you? Um. Okay, so you know there's a lot of art styles out there. So other than Sonic or ones that you know all too well, um, which one inspired you to get into art? Um, thank you for your question. This is a really good one. I think mostly I was inspired into getting to, to improve myself in arts. I think it was mainly by the artists that were online and popular back then. As I said, the Jennifer Hernandez, the Chibijan Han, as well as uh, I think now her nickname is Purity. I think it was Becky the Hedgehog back then. Um, oh. Yeah, and then um, I also heard that uh, one of your uh, one of the artists you were q and with, um, she also men mentioned Einharder, the sisters who were joined by the one nickname, it was Einharder, now it's Niven and uh, Las Vegas. Those were as well the, um, the shining stars <laughs> where I wanted to um, get to, to understand how they draw and like their render was epic back then as well. Um, and, uh, of mm -hmm. course the Ukrainian artists, uh, such as NJ, most of people, I think don't remember her or would say that she's f not from Ukraine. Like she's an English because she always used English and, uh, she was only posting on, uh, English speaking platforms, but her art style and, uh, has influenced uh my art as well and she has um so she's such a huge motivation and inspiration for me back then to start drawing and i still have contacts with her by the way um she's such a lovely and kind person i could i have never met online she's so not conflicting and i also ask, asked for some assistance like if she could give some feedback and critique on my art style which should be improved and she was so open she gladly gave me that feedback and uh, i think this is so cool that 
we should, we can, and we should not hesitate contacting artists if we want to improve somehow. Of course, I think some artists won't share their like know-hows and how they do it, but I think most of them are so open and friendly and yeah, just don't feel bad if someone reject helping you. Some artists, you should know, you should not evaluate the artist by the way they answered you but still i think this is such a cool experience and this is what i think right now that i should use as well because um there is nothing bad of asking the person how they did this or those because at the end of the day this is the key of your own improvement if you ask more if you have more questions you develop yourself you know and uh, yeah not only searching for the references not only learning by yourself but also asking for some help and this will just speed up your uh, art progress did i answer your question okay thanks sir Yes, it was actually very lovely. It was very nice to hear your story, Victory. Thank you. You, you can just call me Rina. I think Victory sounds oh. <laughs> a bit weird, but yeah, no worries. She was giving you Victory with that answer. Yeah, that was great words of advice, too. Okay. What Sonic character is the easiest and the hardest for you to draw? Um, as I said, Sonic, <laughs> surprisingly, weirdly. Um, but That's yeah. Hard. I would say those spikes are hard to draw. What do you want to say, Poodle? A Sonic oh, artist cannot draw Sonic himself. That's that's Say very again? ironic. <laughs> that's very ironic. And also that mono eye that he has, it's um it's easy to draw in a certain positions, but when it's like if Sonic wants to wink, how his one eye should be closed and if this is the one like white. Or <laughs> I just don't understand how the anatomy works. Man, and I saw also some two pupils. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is what I I wish I could draw better, and I'm struggle with are yeah Sonic himself and some male characters. I think um, yeah, and also the big characters such as uh, a Vector or Storm, because I like these characters, but it's kind of hard for me to draw it because I mostly used to draw females. That's why my brain doesn't understand, okay, what should we do? All right, I think we got time probably for like two or three more questions. Uh, Joel, would you like to ask the next question? Hmm. I'm trying to think of one. Uh, I can, oh. um, maybe someone is interested in Etsy shop, how to start it. Maybe it can be useful so for someone who is thinking if they want to make their own Etsy shop. Oh yeah. So how does Etsy shop work? Uh, yeah. So here is how to do it. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not that easy, but it's not that hard as well. <laughs> you okay, just do this and that. Um, so I think that this is such a great opportunity, first of all, for the artist to make their Etsy shop because I feel I felt so bad once that when I, I didn't have an Etsy shop, I thought, OK, I spend hours to draw one artwork and then or like a couple of them and then people just spend a couple of seconds on it and then it vanished in the huge waves of the content on online and people will never like look at it again maybe some of your more uh, dedicated fans will be but mostly you sometimes as well like once in a while you will look at this artwork and then it's gone forever and i think etsy shop is such a great opportunity to make your art live again like you can make stickers you can make prints and keychains um i remember when i first got my stickers i was so excited to see my artwork uh, in my hand physically because it's such a mind-blowing thing that wow my art exists actually in the reality and i think this is what all artists should do for sure um, some of People might not like doing this business side of it because, of course, running an Etsy shop is not only about doing the designs. You also have to manage customer service, do the nice photos, do the taxes as well, do to count your stock, to set the price, to contact the manufacturer and this and that. It might be a little bit tiring, but... Um, 
I think it pays enough and uh, of course it might be not that successful as you wish for in the beginning like uh, now I can say, uh, speaking about the figures, in my Etsy shop, I've got, uh, recently I just reached the 1,000 sales, but I started my Etsy shop oh. in the end of 2020. I can say that this is the most successful um, Etsy shop that exists. Uh, maybe it's not the worst one, but still I think that, um, yeah, you should, ex it doesn't mean that I have the sales every day. And uh, I also saw that there is so many different experiences of people starting an Etsy shop. Someone just got hyped immediately and they've got like thousands of sales just in a couple of weeks and stuff. But uh, most of them, I think this is also this, it's not that oftenly spoken about those who just um, gave up and thought, okay, this is, I don't have any sales. I'm not interesting enough. And yeah, I, I will quit my essay shop. And this is the worst idea you could ever have. Uh, always try, always um Try something new, try new designs, try new, new products. Um, I also saw there were so many um, shops that uh, gave up. Uh, you can find it even on YouTube. They, they say that, oh, it was so hard for me to run this shop. I don't have enough energy for that. But at the same time, I find so many shops that are existing for years now, like they were uh, created like 10 years ago. And only now, Oh, they've got the success um i feel so bad that i didn't start the Etsy shop much earlier as well as i had uh, the art block the one sorrow that i have i also wished i could start it much earlier like in 2017 i just didn't know that this exists that you can do it and this is doable it's not that hard you can start from small and then grow faster like it doesn't come overnight i started just with three stickers and now i have um uh, I think about 30 items in my shop, uh, the animal pins as well. Um, it, the, for example, the animal pins, let's say they're expensive to make, but I didn't make them all at the same time simultaneously. Like I've got, uh, I spared enough money and I've just got this first three designs first. Um, so yeah, you just go step by step, uh, you try it. And if you have ever had the idea of creating Nasty Shop and you don't know how to start, what to do, I would recommend for sure to watch a couple of videos on YouTube, not lots of them because, because you can be prepared for hundred percent for anything. I think two or three videos on YouTube will be enough and just, uh, open your Etsy shop, just do it and try it and it doesn't um also cost you uh, it doesn't you, you should not pay money for that because the first listings the first sales are free for you so in case you won't succeed and like you will understand this it's too hard for you you can always quit without losing any money I, I could vouch for her shop too. I, I bought something more than two, two years ago. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my last question to you is what is something you would like to say to Sonic fans all around the world since, since you're an international fan yourself? Um, keep creating. Don't stop uh, creating stuff that you love. Uh, even if you don't see the results now, please be consistent because the success comes later. The more hours you spend, um, the more results you will get later. So just, yeah, just be honest with yourself. Do what you want. Do what you like. Never betray yourself. If you like voice acting, please don't quit. Please, I beg you. Because uh, what I've learned by voice lessons that uh, this also takes time. This is a muscle that you have to train. You have to learn. There's so many small details in your throat that works on your voice and this is all doable and everyone can do it uh, even if you haven't started something just do it right now and even with small steps even with just one sketch per day or per week this is also it, this is at least something just don't quit doing anything don't quit oh great words of advice well we want to thank you very very much for for coming Mina. We thank we you so much for having me thank you yeah, of course. And we wish you and your loved ones all, 
all all the best and don't don't stop creating keep up the great work and all that you do thank you thank you so much and uh, yeah it was very nice i really enjoyed our conversation i hope you guys it was also interesting for you as well and yeah hope to see you once in person in united states or in ukraine i'm li- really looking forward to meet you all guys in person so yeah yeah we would love love to meet you and I, I guess we gotta wait for them to post it, but tomorrow is Rebel Replay, and I believe they're doing the story mode of Team Sonic Sonic Racing. So I believe it's tomorrow at 8 p.m., so we're, we'll see you all there. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.